You'll notice I'm wearing my green outfit today. That's out of respect for the fairies of the Green Loch and Loch Anoonia. Tradition has it, this is where the fairies come and uh, wash the green clothes and the dye comes off the green clothes and that's why the Green Lochan is the Green Lochan, apparently. I love the little poem that's written behind this door. Not many people notice it because we open the door and they come in and look around and they think I miss this poem, but I find it quite evocative. And uh, let me read it to you. I shall leave tonight from Euston by the 7.30 train and from Perth in the early morning I shall see the hills again. From the top of Ben McDewey I shall watch the gathering storm and see the crisp snow lying at the back of Cairngorm. I shall feel the mist from Broughton and pass by Larigou to look at Dark Loch Eine from the heights of Scourndu. From the broken barns of Bynock I shall see the sunrise gleam on the forehead of Ben Rinnis and Strathspey awake from dream. And again, in the dusk of evening, I shall find once more alone the dark waters of the green loch and pass by Rhyvon. For tonight, I leave from Euston and leave the world behind. Who has the hills as a lover will find them wondrous kind. Lovely. Apparently, written by a lady called A.M. Um, Lawrence who uh, lived at Borough on Sands in Cumbria in the 1950s and spent quite a lot of time at Nethy Bridge and in the, the, the Nethy Forest. I really like it, I really do find it quite evocative the thought of leaving Euston in the, the heart of busy London and waking up in the morning here in the Cairngorms. fairly high above Rivon Pass. It's where the Green Lochan was. And it's quite interesting that the way back in the 15th, 16th centuries, clansmen from Loch Haber would steal away through the, the, the quiet glens of Loch Haber and, and Bedra into Glenmore uh, and through the pass into the rich pasture lands of Murray where they would steal cattle and then creep back through under darkness of night, back through the pass, back through Baderach and towards that Loch Haber again. And it's quite interesting, the hill just across here, the rounded hill there is Craig and Gaul, which is the, the hill of the stranger. And uh, it's been suggested it could have been used as a sort of lookout hill. And on this side, the hill that I'm climbing, Mela Buchel, is generally translated as the hill of the shepherd, but I much prefer the translation, the hill of the herdsman which would indicate those cattle thieves, those catarans who crept through here with their stolen herds back towards the lonely glens of Loch Haber. Uh, rebuilt this path maybe, uh, maybe 10 years ago 
and the old path kind of went up the, the eastern side of the hill. Um, but it was a much more gentle path and there were big white zigzag which made the walking much easier. And while this is this newer path is much more direct, it's also much more brutal and it's much much steeper. But I think on the, the plus side, the new path does give much better views of the northern quarries uh, and down into Rushmore. Well, here we are, the sum of Melabuchel, it's 810 metres and uh, it's a Corbett and I tell you it's absolutely bitter up here so <laughs> I'm not going to hang around, uh, thanks a million for joining me and we'll see you next time.